Hello everyone, Argle Funf here with a speed run for Edge of Reality, Ring of Destiny. Fair warning, I'm going to begin this walkthrough, a uh, speed run, not walkthrough. I'm going to begin this video by going completely off topic and talking about this map. This map right here, the map of the United States, the Northeastern United States. It's a pretty nice map. And uh, the map is now in the lower left-hand corner of the game. You can see it there. You can click on it. I'm not going to do that over the course of this video. But if you, if I did click on it, and if you click on it, you'll notice that this game takes place in Oregon. Oregon! Yes, we're in Oregon right now. And that's a problem, because Oregon is not in the northeastern United States. That lady was looking at a map which is nowhere near the place she lives. So wh what's the storyline behind that? Is it that some Oregonian hijacked the game and, and you know, changed the walkthrough so the game takes place in Oregon? Is it that the people who made this game just aren't super familiar with uh, United States geography? Because uh, there is a Portland in Oregon and a Portland in Maine, uh, two famous cities with, with the same name, and people sometimes get the two of them confused. Maybe that's the problem our main character has. She forgot which Portland she lives by, and so she was looking up the Portland on the other side of the country. A an understandable mistake! Actually, not very understandable. How, how could you forget what side of the country you live on, lady? That's, that's crazy. Maybe, 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 uh, maybe it's not Portland. Maybe it's Milwaukee, because there's a Milwaukee in Oregon, too, uh, which sometimes gets confused with the famous Milwaukee. Actually, the United States Postal Service changed the spelling of Milwaukee in Oregon just so it would be different from the other Milwaukee, so people wouldn't get the two confused. Um, it kind of works, it kind of doesn't. Sometimes, you know, if you're in Oregon and you're looking up stuff about Milwaukee, they're like, Oh, you're obviously talking about the other Milwaukee. I'm like, no, 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 don't autocorrect. Don't change. I, I want the Milwaukee. That's, that's, um, that's, that's an Oregon. Anyway, uh, enough about geography. Uh, we have left Oregon officially. We have left Oregon. Notice we did not spend much time in Oregon, just about two and a half minutes in Oregon. And now we're in the mystical land of Agora, where where I guess it doesn't matter where we are because it's, it's just a mystical made-up land. Nobody knows where anything is. Okay, so now that I'm coming near the end of the first segment of the game, I might as well start talking about the game. <laughs> um, uh, this segment right here, I, I, um, I started a segment here. Uh, you'll notice uh, at various points I, I stop and restart the game. I, I started and restopped, I mean I stopped and restarted there. Because my inventory is full. The inventory at the bottom of the screen, you've got a bunch of items here. It looks like it can only hold six items at once, and I've got about nine, ten, or twelve items here. So the reason why I stopped uh, the game there was just because of inventory management. I have to go through all of these puzzles in a very specific order, otherwise I have to scroll back and forth uh, through my inventory, and it's kind of a pain. Uh, fortunately, uh, one... one, one uh, kind of time saver that you can do to get around this problem, uh, you know, of a full inventory, is just put off looking at the portal until the very end. And here's something that you'll notice, I had to wait a couple of seconds for uh, that item to finish, and I have to wait a couple of seconds here before I can actually pick up the acorns, and then I have to wait a couple of seconds again before I can get the item from Ice, that's the dog's name. So that's the way this game works, is uh, when there's an animation, you can't skip it. You have to watch the animation all the way through, and you have to wait a couple seconds for any anything to get into your inventory. So that's how this game is set up, and it, it, it's it's kind of slow, but there's no way around it. That That's unfortunate. Uh, this puzzle is an interesting one. I'm going to skip it. All puzzles... At, you saw at the very start of this uh, video, I, I changed the timer. Uh, oh, this is the fun part where I just, like, skip everything. <laughs> uh, no way to skip this scene. 
Yeah, no way to skip this scene. So this is a puzzle that I skip, uh, because you have to do this puzzle three times in a row. If it was just twice in a row, I could do it under 10 seconds, but I cannot. So I skip the puzzle, then I, then I skip the scene. And notice that uh, the skip button fills up halfway before I can even start solving this matching puzzle. So obviously it's fastest to skip that, then I skip this scene, then I skip this guy's dialogue, then I skip this scene, then I... Oh! Yeah, so like I said, it's a part where I skip, 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 skip. It was interesting planning that out. Oh hey, and a hidden objects challenge, I haven't seen one of those in a while. Okay, so, uh, let me see, I'll talk more about hidden object screens uh, the next time we come across one. Let me go back to what happened at the very start of the video, where I turned off the tutorial. Uh, turning off the tutorial, basically there's a tutorial prompt at the start where that lady's looking at the map, and uh, it saves time for me to turn off the tutorial ahead of time, that way I just can skip that little prompt. And here's another excellent example of me having to wait several seconds for an animation to finish before I can, uh, before I can interact with the screen. Same thing here. I also turned, uh, the hint button down and the skip button, skip button to, uh, 10 seconds. This puzzle you cannot skip. There are certain puzzles in this game that I feel like you should be able to skip, but you, you aren't able to skip them. Uh, this is one of those puzzles. So I'm probably not going to use the hint button very often, if at all. It's mostly it's mostly there in case I get stuck on a hidden objects challenge and, and just forget where an item is. That's, that's basically the main reason I have the uh, hint button uh, activated. Obviously it's faster never to use hints in order to solve any of the puzzles. This is, however, not a perfect speedrun, so I do make mistakes. I, I played through uh, each of the segments. I, I, I have about like 16, it's 16 segments long. This, this, this video is just 16 shorter videos put together. So I played through each of those uh, 16 videos like, hmm, let's see, six, five or six times. And it ended up taking forever, to be honest. Uh, it, it, this speedrun definitely took me at least three hours. And uh, yeah, oh well. It's fun. I like this opening part of this game. This opening part of the game is fun. I wish this was a puzzle that we could skip. Uh, again, not a puzzle we can skip. It's one of those games where I, I feel like the opening part of the game is really good, and then the ending part of the game is also kind of good, but, but there, there, there's this chunk in the middle where it's like, oh, oh no. And now I get another uh, one of these puzzles. So you'll notice this 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 section of the game is really straightforward in that all you have to do is memorize the order in which you solve the puzzles, and that's it. There aren't really any tricks or anything. Um, you kind of have to look at everything in this game, so it's basically just looking at things in a, a specific order is how, how it works. Okay, now we get to go into town, talk to this guy, skip his dialogue, grab that bag. Here's a, a minor, minor trick here. While an item is going into my inventory, I look at another item, so that way two things are happening at the exact same time. Doesn't save a whole lot of time, it saves like about a second, but I, I do that whenever I, I possibly can. This is another puzzle which should have been able, which you should have been able to skip, because this, this is kind of a long puzzle. You'll notice it takes about a half minute, and this is me just zooming through it. Very interesting how we have an ice dragon, though. I, I find it interesting. We don't really pick up on the fact that the dragon is an ice dragon. It's mostly the dragon is blue. That, that's basically it. But uh, I, 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 I like it. Like I said, I like the opening part of the game. The magical artifact. Okay, skip go over here. I'm going to cut this, 
And here's something interesting. I'm going to skip a scene by closing my game right there. You can do that with a lot of scenes in this game. Um, obviously, it, you know, I may have been able to use it for that scene of the dog barking. Barking. Basically, what you do is you start the scene, and then you close the game, then you restart the game, and all of a sudden, hey, the game has gone, oh, wow, you just watched the entire scene. So, uh, you know... You could do that a lot, but that would require a lot of stopping and restarting. And, I, I, you know, this is 16 segments long. I already start, stopped the game. Like, here's something we should be able to skip, too. Uh, but, you know, I already, I already stopped and stopped the game so many times. I, I got really sick of seeing that opening cutscene. <laughs> you didn't actually get to see the opening scene. But, you know, the opening scene, when, whenever you start the game, there's an opening scene. It's like, ooh... Throughout the world, there are artifacts that can change the course of history. You never know when you might find one. So I, I saw that at least at least 50 times over the course of speedrunning this game. Got, got really sick of it. Here's another place where you have inventory management. I, I put the things down on the right spot before putting things down on the left spot because the dragon was on the far left side of my inventory. I believe this is the only place in the game where inventory management becomes a problem. Now we should be able to skip it, but it's not so bad. Notice I am just able to pretty much zoom through the puzzle by knowing where everything is and what items I'm clicking on ahead of time. Lava and rocks. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that was actually pretty good. I like that. I, I felt good. That made me feel like an accomplished speedrunner. <laughs> uh, as opposed to this hidden objects challenge, where it just makes me feel like I'm just really bad at this game, and I, I'm not good at hidden objects challenges. Here again, we have um, doing things in a very specific order. Like, I guess we could... I... I, I I guess we didn't have to do that in a specific order, though. We could have done it either way, actually. We could have done the gnome first uh, and the dog second. Never mind. Never mind, you don't have to do that in a specific order. This puzzle is less than 10 seconds if you get it right. If you mess up, which I did not, hooray, you, you have to skip it. Nope, nope. <laughs> I was trying to click on the wrong skip button. I find it unhelpful that we've got a skip button in the lower left to skip dialogue and then a skip button in the upper right to skip scenes. And, and I, I, You know, it'd be nice if both skip buttons were in the exact same area. That's all I'm trying to say. Of course, there's a skip button in the lower right-hand corner here. So we've got three different locations for skip buttons in this game. It might be a bit better if the skip button was just, um, you know, same every single time. So here I grab the items, and then I close my game. Alrighty. So, um, why did I stop the game? Sometimes I stop the game... I, I try to stop the games at Hidden Objects Challenges because I'm really bad at those, and that's a really good place to restart when, uh, when I make mistakes. Other times I just stop the game in the middle of a segment just because, oh my gosh, it's been going on forever, and I need a break. So, uh, like, any segment that's that's pushing, like, four minutes or so, that that's pushing it, I, I don't feel... You know, I, I can't play video games for longer than four minutes. It's just, I feel like if I'm speedrunning and I've got, like, a six or seven minute segment, I, I, I feel like I, I just do badly and mess up. And so it's probably a bit safer for me to split that up a seven minute segment into like a three minute segment and a four minute segment. Does that make sense? Okay. Well, plus there's also a lot less to memorize if you've got a much uh, shorter, shorter segment too. Okay, so um, this is very straightforward here. There's only one way you can solve these puzzles, and so this isn't in, uh, you know, one of those times where you need to do things in a very specific order, because otherwise your inventory will be full. It's, you need to do things in a very specific order, because that's the only order you can do things in. And as I, as I believe I've mentioned before, I, uh, it's not the, the, 
from a speedrunning perspective, it's not as interesting when you can only do the puzzles in one particular order. I kind of like having fun and variety. I like having fun and variety, and this game has some of it, but um, other times not so much. So I'm going to skip this puzzle here as the lady is um, chasing after a whirlwind. And now she gets eaten by a fish. This segment is also, uh, I mean, this upcoming segment, the, the, the fish part, the fish part, uh, you got eaten by a fish, it's very straightforward. You can only do things in one particular order. So you'll notice I'm finding some items. Those are those are items which always appear in uh, uh, at this particular hidden objects challenge. You open the door and you've got those three items there, and obviously you've got the leather glove. The leather glove always appears because that's the item you need to get from that hidden objects challenge. Alrighty, not much to say here. This is probably the, this is the shortest segment of the run, actually. Um, I solve all these puzzles in the order that you can solve them in, because you can't solve them in any other possible order. And I don't know if you can hear me uh, clicking my uh, timer. I, I've got a stopwatch that I'm clicking to, to keep track of my time. Mainly because I want to see how long the speed run is. <laughs> So uh, the time that I spent loading and reloading the game doesn't count, so that's why I have to like quickly turn off my uh, stopwatch and turn it back on again. Anyway, as I said, um, uh, the, the, the fish segment, very, very straightforward. You can only do things in one particular order. Now we have to look at that. Now we have to gather berries. So we can give the berries to the turtles. And then we have to watch the turtle scene. Turtle, turtle. Grab this random thing, grab these things, and then go up to meet Mr. Gollum. This is also a very short segment. I grab the cocoons here, and then I uh, start this hidden objects challenge. So here I'm finding more more items than just like the the two items. I I, I don't know. I I, I I did prep. I I, I did prep these uh, segments. I should say. Like I said, I, I played through like each segment of the game like five or six times. So sometimes that helped with the hidden objects challenge, like it did there, and I I was able to know where most of the hidden objects were because I had. I'd done them before, but the hidden objects challenges in this game are randomized, except for that first hidden objects challenge, that's the same every single time, but all the others are randomized, so you'll, you'll get different items pretty much every single time. Some items, some items stay the same, but usually, usually they, they, they change. Here's another book puzzle, which we should have been able to skip, but we, we are not. This segment, I would say, is probably the segment of the game that I don't like as much. I'm not saying it's a, it's, it's a bad segment. It's just I don't know. It seemed I don't know. I just I just get kind of a strange vibe from this segment with the whole um, we're in a mystical other a, a new magical realm, and somehow we're in China now. I I didn't I just didn't didn't quite understand the, the thought process behind it. Oh well, okay, so, um... Basically, this was another part where you just, just do things in um, a specific order inside the woodcutter place. Basically, um... You know, you can do the two things on the left first, or the two things on the right first, but but other than that, <laughs> there wasn't much variation in terms of how, how uh, you could go through this. You could do the silkworms earlier or later. I mean, that's that's a minor variation, so that that was that's interesting. It's not it doesn't really affect your time. Uh, to, you know, if you do the the uh, silkworms earlier or later, and this, unless I'm mistaken, this is where I I do actually 
really well with the hidden objects challenge. It was all items I had seen before, and so I was able to just zoom through, and I messed up with the mandala. Oh well. But while I was doing the mandala, the part of the reason I screwed up was I was looking at the list of items at the bottom of the screen. It's like, wait, I know where those items are. Uh-oh. Come on, timer. Okay. Oh no, I had a I had problems with my <laughs> my stopwatch there. I, I I hope that doesn't throw off my uh the timing. <laughs> oh well, you you can tell from the length of this video that that you know my speed run's gonna be about 43 seconds long, 43 minutes long, a little more. Okay, and here I um, just solve these puzzles. Uh, you can basically do them in any order. Yeah, it doesn't matter which order you solve those three puzzles in. Alright, throw these things on there. Grab these items, doing another charging thing. I don't know, it, it is a very nice area. I, I do think this is a very nice looking area. It's very, very, very unique. I just don't understand why it, it, it has to deal with golems, though. That, hmm. And skip. Yeah, uh, this poor golem character is going to be seen here and then never again? I, I feel like we might have been... I, I don't know. But now he can move, hooray! That was another scene we should have been able to skip. Yeah, the, the scene of him changing, yeah. Okay, so we knock, knock these things here. I mean, we knock that uh, block of wood, and then we're gonna keep going. Oh, this is another long segment, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, doing doing all of the, uh, the Chinese place in, in one go. Besides for those those hidden objects challenges, this is another do everything in the one order because there's no possible other order that you can solve these puzzles in. Ah. There's something strange about this segment, and uh, we'll, we'll come across it later. You'll notice I've been using ring powers. Oh, let me talk about this. So this puzzle, I have to skip it because... Uh, You'll notice here, look, I'm trying to click on the S, but I can't. I have to wait for that bell to stop ringing before I can click on the S. And that puts me over the 10 second mark. So, I mean, if I could click on that bell just twice in a row, then, then I would have solved that puzzle legitimately. This puzzle you can just barely do under 10 seconds, and that's the solution. So with the ring powers, we have five or so ring powers in this game, and weirdness is going to abound here because this is the only time we use that ring power. Yeah, that ring power, you might not have noticed what happened because I, I decided to use this time to fix my, <laughs> fix my lighter, might as well, there's nothing interesting happening. But yeah, that was a strange use a ring power once. I, I wonder what the original plan was for this area. Was that always the plan, to have the one power used once? Because all the other ring powers get used multiple times, like the wing ring power. We, we, we use this multiple times. Now here, you just need to be careful about the order you put these things in. And if you're fast enough, you do it under 10 seconds. This is very straightforward here. Now my inventory is kind of small. So minor variations here. Oops, made a mistake. Didn't mean to look at that thing there. But basically we, we pick up the two items and we use the two items. And it might be faster. It's slightly faster to uh, rotate the two items. That is, not do the two dragon items, and then the two human items do human dragon, human dragon, like like I tried to do there. Just because that saves you on the, the few seconds it takes for items to go into your inventory. Now here I made a mistake, and I did the magnet early. I'm very sorry about that, everyone. I shouldn't have done that. What I should have done was just this hidden objects challenge originally. 
and uh, take a step back with that green stuff. Okay, let me finish grabbing these things. This was a really hard hidden objects challenge. I, I mean, it looks pretty. I, I like it. It's a great hidden objects challenge. I'm just bad at it. It's just bad with all the tiny things. And I'm grabbing a key there. So what I should have done from the beginning was, not that, this. And the, because that gives me an item which I can use uh, at the barn. So I would have used the, the, the pliers here at the same time as using the magnet. And that would have been safer. for, I mean, it would have been faster because I wouldn't have had to take a second trip back there. This game is pretty, pretty good about that actually um, not having situations like that. Generally, uh, what, what you do when you go to an area is you visit every, you look at every single thing one time around and, and then you come back later and you look at every single thing for a second time. So like here, I, I, I am picking up items the first on, on my first time through. And then when I come back, I'll be I'll be solving puzzles. This is a very short segment to a um, minor time saver. You can't actually solve this puzzle within 10 seconds, but I try to get my key as close to the exit as possible because we have an animation of the key going to the exit. So that's, that's another minor time saver. And then I accidentally looked at the shadows when I wasn't supposed to, which completely negates that time saving. Oh well. Okay, I grabbed the uh, three items, which uh, always appear on this hidden object challenge, which gave me a very small amount of time to, to find, to, to read the list at the bottom of the screen and find another item. Okay, so uh, this is another long segment. One of those segments where I ended up just splitting it in half just because it was so long, but also because my game started, uh, it, it just did not want to record anymore. <laughs> so there are there are certain times during this segment where I, I had to stop recording and re-record just because the game just stopped. The game's like, Michael, stop! So I'm going to use the scissors to cut this. Immediately go back. Back over here. I like this one. This was actually kind of neat, multi-part puzzle. Yeah, yeah, I like the multi-part puzzles, multiple, multiple things you have to deal with. Very good, good. I, I give it a thumbs up, much, much better than the, uh, like I said, the Chinese area is just not my favorite. But this, yeah, this is kind of maybe a draggy section of the game. Maybe, I don't know, I don't care, I like it. I did prefer the start of the game, though. I solved one of those puzzles. You have to solve three of them in order to win the challenge. This is another thing that should be skipped, but it can't be. Oh man, and this. Yeah, I, I suppose this is good, but we get a new ring power now, everybody. I want to bounce these things over to the lower left-hand corner, which, as you can see, takes a lot of time. So I, I just skip it. Slow animation of our character finding something. Grab those items, go forward. This is also very, uh, fairly straightforward in terms of you having to do things in a uh, somewhat specific order. Nope. <laughs> game paused on me because I accidentally clicked outside of the game window. And here we do that ring power a second time. So you'll notice I got two things into the, in the circle at once. So maybe if I was really fast, I could have gotten all four. However, I, I just skipped it. Okay, so this is where we see our dog, Ice. Poor doggy. Being trapped. I grab a stick of bamboo and I go back over here. Basically, the bamboo tubes were what uh, kept that particular screen in check. Basically, I, I just had to do everything to get those two bamboo tubes. But I also picked up the crystal ball. I could have done that later, but, the eh, you know. 
I, actually, that's pretty much the only variation uh, in, this, they created, in these particular screens was, uh, well, when do you do the crystal ball stuff? You could save it for later. Their plan. Actually, maybe you can't save it for later, because I'm sure we're going to get some sort of item. Yeah, looks like we got another pair of pinchers. Yeah, we're going to use the tongs. Pinchers, tongs, yeah, we're going to use them right here. set up every single time, which makes it kind of difficult, but I appreciate the attempt at variation. Is there no music at this part of the game? It's just Howling Wind? I guess it's just Howling Wind. Okay, cool. Alright, so, yay! I got the fire wand! Hooray! Okay, so I'm basically... Now I can go back to doing doing interesting stuff, right? New area. Dragon talks, dragon gives me the blood. I made the mistake of clicking on that thing when you're supposed to use dragon blood on it, so so we got a minor scene of those dragons spying me. This is another area where you have to do everything in a very specific order. Basically you had to get the stick first so you could get the so you could get the so you could get the feather the whirlwind for this thing. Also the feathers. The feathers are for another area entirely. Here is whoop. Whoops. Didn't realize I was stopping a segment here. Here's another that's another inventory management thing. Um, putting the gold ingot there first, because we get three items from the area to the left. So inventory management there. Enchanting crystal, going back here for the mushrooms. Everything in my inventory is just like a circle. Again, uh, I feel like this is a puzzle that should have been able to be, we should have been able to skip. They escape the oh, it's not that bad of a puzzle, it's just... Ah, I have to do three, three, three in a row. I should be able to skip it. Rawr, rawr, rawr. I want to go through faster, 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 I say. Faster. Rawr. Okay, so we're like a third of the, the we're like two thirds of the way through the game now. Cool. Button goes here. Wow, I should have more to say. Anyway, saw blade goes here. I'm going to saw this off. And then I'm going to use that disenchanting crystal one more time. Yeah, that dog is just taking up space in my inventory. It's a cute dog. Yeah, I like the dog, and that's a cute dragon. And we'll skip this scene. Hooray, we have a scene we can actually skip. And hit an object challenge. Oh boy. Is this hit an object challenge? I'm sure I find several items. Just because they're like the snake and the dinosaur skull usually appear. I, I don't know why they usually appear here, but they do for whatever reason. So you'll notice with the hidden objects, you might notice with the hidden objects challenge, I try to work from the top to the bottom. Just because the uh, the items at the bottom are, are closer to the bottom of the screen, so um, you have less time to wait for those items to to uh, get crossed off the list. Uh, pay attention during the next in object scene. You'll 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 notice that maybe. Here is another place where you've got very very little room for variation in the order you can do things. Basically, I either do uh, the, that fire puzzle. I either do it. First, or I, I do it last. That's all. Yeah. And I messed up on that one. Oh well, I wasn't going to be able to do it in under 10 seconds either. Anyway, should have been able to skip that scene. Uh, now we talked to all three of these guys here. 
and uh, let me see. I I am purposely um, I purposely did things in that order because the uh, the ball falling into my inventory takes a while, and I'd have to wait like half a second if I tried to open it immediately after getting it. One of the few places where I actually am uh, am being very conscious about uh, the you know super super. The, the time it takes for things to get into my inventory. So normally there's just there's just no way around it, so this is tough, the ring. You'll notice it takes a while. That was me clicking madly. It just the area the trigger area is just kinda small. Kinda small. Okay now I've got these three uh, zodiac symbols here. Which is sort of the big puzzle that we are gearing up for. It wasn't particularly obvious, um, probably, <laughs> but uh, that's what we we're triggering up for. And uh, this is actually the final uh, segment of the game, believe it or not. Um, this area. Which I liked. I liked this area. Okay, scene. Skip that. So the regent is injured. Oh no. And I'm going to use my powers here to play basketball. I mean, uh, um, I'm I'm gonna skip the puzzle. I'm not I'm not playing basketball. That would be irresponsible. La 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 music 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 music. Okay, not <laughs> man. I I don't really have much to say about this game other than oh, here's another segment where I have to do things in a very specific order. Oh, and I have to do things in a specific order here. Oh, no, it it turns into just um, memorize the order and just click very quickly. Like slight variation on the order is put the book down um, the second time you look at the table, but like doesn't really make a difference. So yeah, this in fact is the longest segment of the game, but it's so straightforward. I just decided to keep it, even if it was a long segment. The reason why this particular part of the game is straightforward is because you do pretty much everything on one screen and then you go forward to the next one, which we saw with us in front of the portal. And now we're doing it here. And now we're in the labyrinth and we're basically, uh, things are going to open up a little bit in the labyrinth where we'll, we'll go back and forth. This puzzle you can solve the first two rounds, but you can't solve the, uh, the all three rounds before the timer goes up. Everyone's here. You need to throw Evil Glavera. And this is an interesting challenge. Should be able to skip this scene too. But no, no, no. We lose our items and then um, we have to find them again and do the exact same action. So it's like, use the items, oh, didn't work. Use the items again, oh, it works this time, perfect. Okay, so this is an interesting puzzle, which I skip entirely. And we wait a bit, and now. Okay, so we missed the scene where uh, the regent, that guy who was sick, he just turned evil. He, he was a bad guy, what a meanie. Here, just throw items on there. And uh, you'll notice these, this area to the left, the characters were standing in front of this area before, so you couldn't actually access it. Sneaky, sneaky characters. Okay, here's a time where I'm gonna grab an item and then, and then interact with the screen. Taking advantage of the fact that, you know, I'm doing two things at once. This just memorized the solution. Grabbing that thing, gonna use the spelling salts. Here we have to wait for that thing to get to my inventory before I can use it. Unfortunately, no way to skip that. 
And this is another part, place where we have the one ring power that we use once. And then never again. Yeah. Two ring powers like that. Hmm. I'm not saying it's bad. I, I, I'm just saying it's kind of strange. Anyway, uh, grabbing that, starting this hidden objects challenge here. Do, 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 do. I don't particularly, I don't, I, 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 I'll be honest, I don't like this hidden objects challenge. It feels like it's, um, I don't know, front loading, I don't know what you'd call it. Whatever the term is. It's like I'm at the end of the game. I just wanna I wanna zoom through to the exit. I don't want to be forced to do the same hidden objects challenge twice. And it doesn't help that that is a particularly long hidden objects challenge. Uh, we'll see on the next round where we have to find all the bugs, and that takes that just takes a while. And I think I messed up here. But uh, if you're really, really fast, you can solve that uh, before the 10 seconds are up. And here I take my time, because if you click at the wrong moment, then the Mirror of Invisibility thing cancels and you have to rewatch the entire animation. So I maybe wait like a half second longer than I need to, just to be sure. Now this maze thing uh, you can't do under 10 seconds, so no, no, no reason to even try. And we're coming up on the end of the game. After I skip this, I've got the uh, next hidden objects challenge, where I have the bug collection. So I have to find four bugs, which are just scattered across the screen, which is fine. I don't mind multi-part puzzles that much. It's just ah, I'm, I'm at the end of the game here, folks. And that was me getting stuck and not knowing where the final items were. All of them apparently were there in the lower right-hand corner. For shame, me not knowing that. Freezing this. Using a hammer there. Again, very straightforward. Can only do things in a very specific order. Mainly because we've only got two or three things on this screen that we can actually interact with. So it's, it's kind of hard to have a huge amount of variety when you're only dealing with two things. It's like, A or B? <laughs> anyway, I feel like I'm being too harsh on this game. It's a good game. I'm just saying I preferred Immortal Love better game by the same company. I, I, I felt that game was just better overall, better storyline. I like the time travel, it was cool. <laughs> this game is neat, I, I like some of the magical characters. Oh, and I messed up there. Okay, well, getting ready with my, getting ready with my speedrun timer, because I'm at the end of the game here. Now you can solve this puzzle in less than uh, 10 seconds. You can, I think I messed up though. I Yeah, see, I messed up with that one Glavera thing there. There we go, end game. Okay, so it's 42 minutes and 55 seconds. And, and uh, yeah, that's it. So thank you very much for watching my speedrun. I hope you enjoyed it.